I have a daily inventory of my personal values, my experiential values, my giving values and receiving values. And I think that's the best way to be happy in a day is not to try to fit a round peg into a square hole. Look, like, this is my day. I'm flying to New York. I have to, you know, make sure my, my health is right. So I got to get to the airport and get in here and make sure and all these things. But it's all on my values, which today could not be the same as this weekend that was a holiday weekend. But I could imagine to have the same balanced values. Well, in partnerships, we're not asking the series of questions enough of how we can be of service or value to a partner and how they can be of service or value to us. And I say a series of questions. It's not just surface bullshit. Hey, how can I help you? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about really like, you know, what do you like about this? And then, you know, there's like a dating period of a crawl before you walk, before we run. And, you know, I do that with everything. Uh, employees. So if your values are aligned, partnership will work. Because you don't, everybody's working on, on, on the same side and if you're communicating those values, um, if they're not, every time I try to do business or partnership with someone that doesn't have the same values, like something just a value that I know is not mine, it, it never works out. Sooner or later, the truth comes out and there's a huge separation, void, obstacle, frustration, and I end up in a negative situation. And so I would really hone in every day on your values for a lot of different reasons, but one is partnership. And when I also, in that is not just subjective value. So one of the differences in a partnership is, you know, uh, Mike's nicknamed me the ferocious Buddha because the Buddha side of me is all subjective value of, you know, making sure everybody's not an ego-based consciousness, that we're all calm and present and, and in center. But the ferocious side of me is I'm totally a quantitative person, right? If, you, if we're not aligned quantitatively, I'll say to anyone, and they may think, you know, and I do, I separate personal relationships with business. My business relationships are quantitative. Okay, so you want this value, then you need to provide more value than, than you're taking. And if somebody's economically not bringing it to the table, it, it's not not being abundant, it's explaining to them this isn't healthy for either of us. There's a shortage here. So um, I do that even in my executive coaching, right? That's a guarantee. I tell people, you want to do business, guarantee everything, work month to month, and guarantee that you'll provide more value quantitatively, and you'll never have a problem in business, right? Because I cannot, I cannot mismanage your expectations. Anyone that does business, it doesn't matter if it's an executive coaching deal or literally very large opportunities, my, I'd rather not paper deals because I'd rather just give you your money back. But in segments of 30 days. So like I had a coaching client uh, having personal difficulties, so they came to me, hi Gemma, and they came to me and they're like, oh, well you guarantee value. Now I've made them a ton of money every single month, but this last month they had personal circumstances and they just couldn't afford it. So I said, not a problem. I'll refund you last month. You, you need, and they're like, well, can you refund all, all the months? I was like, I couldn't do business that way. Right, I appreciate that you need money, but I cannot do, and I would have never have said that. In the past, the Buddha side of me would have been like, oh, you know, just write the check. It doesn't, well, it does mean something to me. And it's not the money. It's, I've made a plan and agreement with somebody every month. If you're completely satisfied quantitatively, then, let me know and you're going to pay me and I'll guarantee month to month where we go. But there's fairness involved. There's values involved. And I think we make really big mistakes not being able to receive that way. And the funny thing was, I thought the person would get mad at me and call me a hypocrite. That was my ego fear. Like, oh, he's full of shit, right? Dave Meltzer puts all these videos that, no, you know what? I don't think I'm full of shit because that's exactly what I teach people and I'm living to my word um, as well. So, you know, being the ferocious Buddha is a really good position to be in, in, in business and it all possible, guaranteeing what you do, that you're gonna provide more value than they'll receive is a great way to go. And shortening the length of time, not locking people into circumstances because things change, you know, and they really do.